Starting a series on specialty knots, we have a breakaway. Now, there are limited uses for a knot like this, so I'm putting I'm using this to kick off the specialty knots playlist. That is, all of these knots are useful, but I wouldn't call them essentials. They tend to be good at one thing, and there aren't like uh, there are a lot of other knots that you might use for similar purposes to things in this playlist, but uh, it won't. Nothing does it quite like a specialty knot. The problem is that usually those things are so specific that they're <laughs> they only have the one category of uses and it's much less versatile. Like a breakaway knot like this is much less likely to come up in diverse situations than, say, a loop. And for more about loops, like the one that I'm making right here, you can f click the link through and see... Eh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and double this one. Because doubling is a thing that you should just do. Hear me yammer on about why the double bow line is so much better than the single. In the, in the video that you can click through by clicking on that link right there. All right, I'm gonna pull that out though. Capsizing tricks, yeah. All right, so you notice that I have a chain senate click through to see how to tie a chain senate right here because that's where I find I get the most use out of it. I'm using it to clasp a bracelet. Now, the procedure is very straightforward. You take your free end on the other side, and you have a bite right here. Half hitch, and you start so that things are arranged this way, because when you make your next half hitch, this is basically a bunt line hitch if you know knots really, really well, or it's a clove hitch tied upon a loop. So it's a, it's a modified version of both of those things. Now, um, you notice that this is pulling from the far side, and the reason for that is as you pull on it, you're going to shore up this looser side that doesn't have weight being applied to it towards the bite here. That may seem like it makes it weaker, but it generally serves to make it more consistent. That is, if you tie this 40 times in a row, you're the breakaway weights the, the amount of force that you have to apply to it is going to be clustered more tightly together than if you were to tie it the other way. And I was experimenting with that over the past week, which is probably the distant past to you. I was originally doing it that way, but now I didn't tighten that down, but I, I find that I get much less consistent results off of that one. Now, I'm showing it with a chain it here, and Yep. Goodbye, chains in it. Now I'm going to show it to you with the free end. This is how I originally uh, had the idea. This is what I was thinking of when I was trying this out the first time. That's how this went. All right, so just showing you real quick. It is like the actual tying method is identical, but the slightly different properties are that it will draw out from both sides. I'm just taking a turn. Is that a bite out there? And then being very careful to watch which end is going where. Time and clove hitch on. And there we have a breakaway. That's a little lighter on the draw weight to break it away. That's mainly a property of the paracord, though. And it's, uh, it doesn't require any hardware. Click here to see my discussion of the breakaway clasps, and importantly, here to see my final thoughts. You're going to want to watch both of these, or failing that, just the one, because I have some problems <laughs> with these. but. You know, I'm, I'm using it, so there are some good things, definitely, about it as well. Uh, mainly is still to give it a trial run. Uh, in the distant future, 
I'm probably going to use this for myself and the breakaway clasps for knives that I make if I get around to making knives and selling them because that would be a thing that I want to do. Anyway, I hope this discussion of uh, kicking off the specialty use knots playlist has been helpful to you. If it has, give me a thumbs up to raise my ranking in search results, give me a subscription to see more of these videos, and share this video around to generally help me out, because right now what I need is more people watching these videos rather than... I don't know where the end of that sentence was going. Like, there's, there is no rather than. Like, all the things that I could possibly list in that, in that space are all good things. I don't want to have to pick one. If you want to have to pick one thing out of my shop, however, you can go to Etsy. That was a terrible transition. I should do that over again. Whatever. No, I'm not going to. No editing for me. Um, I do have a shop, though, and <laughs> you can see really cool quick-release items like this. If you want to see the difference between quick release and rapid deployment, this being a rapid deployment, well, yep, there's that. Um, I plan to do a video about all the different release mechanisms, but that turns out to be a much more labor-intensive prog <laughs> project than I originally intended, so um, might have to be a little bit of a stall on that one. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm 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 getting to it though, all right? Because I want to eventually put my entire catalog and catalog up on YouTube with me talking about it. Anyway, this video has run on far too long now. I have to be going.